Hey everyone, Grant Alexander here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making picture frames using the ultra precise miter sled that I made for my table saw in the last video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll include a link to the video in the description below, or you can click the link at the top of the screen. Now enough talking, let's get down to making. Before moving to the glue up stage, I like to do a dry fit with a little scrap piece of the spline material to make sure that things will go smoothly. If it's a little bit too tight like it is, oh, just a little tight there, I sand it down a bit with this sandpaper attached to a really thin piece of plywood. That gives me somewhere to grip. And now perfect fit.
I'm adding screws to help reinforce the back panel of the frame here as the weight of the picture frame is going to be hanging on these small pieces and I don't trust uh, glue alone. I hope you enjoyed that video where I made these floating picture frames. If you did, I'd appreciate you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing. I used three different woods when making these picture frames. I used cherry and ash on these ones, and the cherry really helps bring out the red of this ship. And on the other image, I used ash and walnut. And I really feel like the ash plays well with the, the waves happening here. If you like these images, I'll leave a link to my friend Rod's Instagram page in the description below. He's a great photographer and he does a lot of action photography like you can see here. He also does auto racing and equestrian and there's lots of fun things so don't forget to check out his Instagram. Until next time, cheers and have a great day. If I'm having issues getting it in and it's just a little bit too tight of a fit, I'll attach a piece of sandpaper to a really thin sheet of plywood and use that to massage the hole.